February is Black History Month, and all month long, we will be telling you stories of black history in our area. And today, we kick things off with the spirit of an entrepreneur. Rennie Knott takes us to The Rise Restaurant in North St. Louis County. That's catfish nuggets, buffalo, spaghetti. The Rise Restaurant. Green beans and cabbage. Event center and catering. Hush puppies and peach cobbler. Open on Woodson Road near the airport in December. Entrepreneur Betsy Mitchell is holding court in front of the hostess station. She's not afraid to talk about her belief system. And I know it's going to be okay because the author of this story for me is the most time. And I couldn't have done it without him. Mitchell says being a black entrepreneur in the St. Louis area comes with a special set of challenges to make sure that the product or what the service that I'm giving is on point, 100, 110, because I'm gonna be, more is gonna be expected. On the walls of the rise, Mitchell honors her family's history and heritage. Seven, uh, the St. Louis Post Dispatch was doing a uh, story on families, mothers with their daughters, uh, businesses. This is not my first rodeo. <laughs> In the other quarter of the dining room, a drawing of her mother, Minnie. Died almost two years ago at the age of 89. This is all the recipes. Ooh. This is who and why I am who I am. Knowing from where you came and to where you are going. Rising to the occasion, whatever occasion you have, I can rise to it. Rennie oh, Knox, sir. five on your side. And Mitchell's friends say she is too modest. The former educator has master's degrees and is a longtime member of the Sigma Gamma Rho sorority. Her mother was known for her fried apple and peach pies, and Betsy is incorporating those items into the menu.